Chill, Matt G, The Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. Welcome to another episode of Black Friday right here on Podcast and Chill. I'm your host, Len Moleko, and like we do every Friday, if you want to profile your business, tell us what you do, what industry you're in, and how people can get hold of your services or your product, it's very really simple, man. Just drop us a WhatsApp. The number is 081-474-0632. Alternatively, drop us an email. The address is podcast at thisismcg.com. Hadi, um, I understand you are in the business that... A lot of people don't actually know what happens. They seems to th- they seem to think that if you're in public relations, right, you you're just there to like make everything look good. But there's more to it than that. There's absolutely more to it than that because it's it's more about telling your story and um, it's not about making things look, look look good because that's essentially up to the person who's listening. Yeah. Um, but it's about telling your story and in your own way because your story is not the same as the next person. So your story is unique. So in terms of getting into the public relations space, uh, that's the space that I'm in. Yeah. Fortunately, unfortunately, it depends how you look at it. <laughs> how did you get into it? Um, it was actually started, it started with school. Um, I actually wanted to be a journalist and I really loved uh, journalism and yeah. I, I thought I was good at writing, which I, you know... I occasionally still dabble into, but um, in like second year when I met my lecturer at Boston Media House, I was really attracted with, with the idea and that was when I found out that I was really good because when it came to assignments, I was like top of the class at, well, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, most, a lot of the times I was top of the class or at least in the top three or top five. And I'm like, wait, I'm actually good at this. Like I'm good at writing press releases. I'm good at writing sponsorship letters. I'm good at the fundamentals of PR when it comes down to it. So that's when I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should take this thing seriously because at that time, I was also still doing journalism. So I'm like, "Mm, I mean, it's okay. But like, you know, it's not as challenging and creative as PR because PR gives you that creative leg. So, um, yeah, that's basically how I got into it. And yeah. Upon look, when you do PR, most of the times you'll either be in the PR department of a company, but when you do it alone by yourself, it becomes a different beast. At what point did you make the decision that, look, I want to do this, but I want to do it myself? Literally, it was two months ago. Like, so I'm a very new business owner. Okay, okay. Very, very new business owner. Um, and simply because it was very, it was very, like, I was very afraid to make the decision yeah. because I had to think about a lot of things. Like, And I, rightly so. Yeah. I am young. I am still owning a car. So, you know, those natural uh, fears. Okay, but what am I going to do? Because I have a car to pay and uh, I have my family at home. Yeah. In, 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 in. And then also your dreams. Okay, but one day I want to buy a house. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to travel. I want to just enjoy my life besides just constantly working. I want to have people working for me and me, me overseeing certain things. So you, it makes you question those things. Is that is it happening now? Am I ready? Should I jump? No, 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 this, that, that. So I got to a place where I'm just like, you know what? I'm never, if I don't take it in 2019, I will never be ready to take the step. And I just finally took it. I'm like, you know what? I'm dropping the mic. Boom. <laughs> Kudos to you, man. Uh, yeah. So tell us about your business, the name, how you came up with it, what you do, what projects have you undertaken in the two months that you have actually gotten into the space. Okay, so the name of the company is my own name, which is Khadi Mutotsi Media Group. Yeah. And I know some people have told me to run away from it, but like I felt like the brand is me. I am the brand. I am the business. I am the face of and thereof. So um, I named it via myself, and it's a media group. And it's also because it's the name that I've built for myself. Like Since I started when I was 19 years old, I'm now 26. So we're approaching like almost 10 years. And um, people will know me for my work and my name. So I felt like calling it Khadi Motosi Media Group. And um, in the past two months, to answer your next question, um, oh, I've worked, I have so many clients right now. Um, okay, currently I have Shikana. Oh, wow. Uh, we're working on Rose Fest together, uh, which is on the 9th of August. So please come, guys, Women's get Day, your tickets yeah. at Web Tickets. And also on the 12th of October in Durban. And KO, we're currently working with KO on the new Skanda World Range. Um, 
we're working with ooh, there's so many YFM. YFM we're currently working with now to just to reboot and rebrand and restructure and restyle, bring back the cool factor, bring back the the youth fun factor. Um, there's a lot of stuff coming up with that. Um, I have who else? I have Pato Ranking. Pato Ranking it also released his album, Nigerian Superstar. Yeah. Uh, multi award winning MTV award winning artist. Um, he dropped his brand new album. Uh, yeah, that's basically kind of it. It's just that under the YFM umbrella, I have all the YFM talents. Oh, so that you work like, with. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, uh, that's a space that we sort of like very accustomed to because uh, yeah. well, I, I, I'm, I'm a product of YFM myself. So yeah. it's... Good luck with that. That should How be are you a product of YFM? Tell I'm me. A pro- I'm a product of YFM. How? I used to work for YFM. That's oh, where what, I What did started. you do there? I was a sports presenter. Ooh. Yeah. But That's dope. Long ago, long, long, long ago. <laughs> you were probably yeah. still like 19 when you were starting off. So Damn. It's, 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 so it's, 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 man. it's, man. Well, I'm young at heart. I'm young at heart. Okay. So, to anybody out there who's like, yo, I want to work with this person, how do they go about sort of like establishing mm-hmm. that relationship? I think the most important thing is the product and the structure. Yeah. That what you, whatever you're trying to sell, we, I should love it. My team should love it. Um, holistically, everybody, everybody in my team, because we have to believe in the product first. Yeah. That's the most true, important yeah. thing. Yeah. Bona, if you're a model and you have the walk, you have the poses, you have whatever, and maybe let's say your look is not necessarily what they're looking for. We can work around that. But the product itself is there. Then we yeah. have something to talk about. If the product is not up to par. We have nothing to talk about. That's the rule. That's the first rule of the business. Yeah. So if you're an artist selling music, your music has to be up to par. If it's whack, we have nothing to talk about. Okay. Interesting. Simple <laughs> very, enough, right? Very, very simple. Yeah. Now, anybody out there who wants to work with you, how do they get hold of you? Where can they get hold of you? And just to get the ball rolling. Okay. I'm kind of scared because I have to be honest, I have like, ish, and not to sound arrogant or whatever no be as arrogant as you want uh, it's a baby that you've built over a long time i have so many clients right now i don't think i'll be able to take on another client so if like and there's clients that i still have not even announced oh i forgot to add gemini major so i'm working with gemini major as well there's another huge south african artist that i'm currently working on now but it's not, not announced. It's, not, it's not really announced so yeah. it's still under I'm sure the when this comes out I might I might have announced it. so okay. just stay tuned so but in future because there are people who are probably working on the prospects of getting to that level how do they get on your books um, definitely send me your stuff pr at khadimmedia.com pr at khadimmedia.com yeah um, I'm always looking at your proposals for the people that have sent I'm always looking and I'm always seeing what's interesting out there like pe- and, I, and I like the fact that I'm in a space where people can send me different things so like caterers are now saying hey I have a catering company models and stuff because I'm so prone to working with artists from my yeah. history with Ambitious Entertainment and being there for like three, three and a half years that now people are like okay well I have this different business yeah. and that's also very nice and I think that's the nice part about being a CEO is that you can now exercise your right to working on different kinds of clients just to wrap it up, yeah. what do you think or how do you see the future of PR, especially in the South African space, for a young black person? If I have to be honest, um, I'm partially worried because our South Africans are not as creative with PR as they should be. You know, They're not taking their own uh, risks with their own, with their own brands yeah. because um, they first look into working with us and I don't think that's the best solution is that don't you need to be able to manage your own brand anyway yeah. we can guide you but I think you should be able to manage it yourself anyway it's okay this is what I should post today this is what I should push this is what I should um, emphasize on because this is the message that I want people to know and the information is out there like you can look on, in, on the internet you can look on social media the information is there start with pushing yourself before you call us alright cool Hadi thank you very much pleasure talking thank to you. you and uh I'm actually very young at heart, by the way. I'm uh, not as old as you think. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that was Khadi. And yeah, that's pretty much the one, two, three of PR. So if you want to get a hold of her, she gave you the details. They are down here. 
can check them out. And uh, yeah, that has been an episode of Podcast and Show with myself, Len Moleko. We will see you again, same time, same place. Podcast and Show. Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko.